What's up YouTube? I haven't made a video in a while so I'm going to do one uh, big update of all my animals that I have currently right now. So first here is the ball python rack that you guys have seen if you watch my other videos. Um, so basically on the top I just have some calcium with D3, leopard gecko calcium. This is just the cup I use to dust the mealworms. The VE100 works really good. I really like that. Um, a scale. And then now we'll go through the ball pythons. So here's the pastel male. He's doing good. He's getting big. I think he's um, he's a little bit over 600 grams right now. He eats like a beast. Underneath him is the female pinstripe. She's back here hiding. She's had some issues with eating with me. She's She likes to skip every once in a while, but... She's healthy, she's doing good, she's getting bigger. Underneath is the female that I've been pairing up with the Mojave. I just took the, um, I just took the male out of the tub um, just before I did this video, but they were locked up for three days. So here she is. I don't really wanna mess with her too much, but she's getting fat, so I'm hoping to get an ovulation soon and then some eggs. So stay tuned for that. Underneath her is the Mojave. Really pretty colors, I like this guy a lot. That's him, he's really cool. He's the one who's been locking up with her. And then next I'll take you to uh, the leopard geckos. Okay, so here we are the, in the leopard geckos. Um, it's in the same rack as the ball pythons, so we just have a little moist hide here. I just put water in there so it's really wet. Um, some mealworms, water dish, and then she should be under here. She's getting nice and fat for me. She's really pretty, really tame. She likes to be held. That's her. I like her tail, it looks cool. And the male I separated from her, the one that I got for my birthday, the high yellow, because he was getting skinny and I didn't think that he was eating as much as he was in with her. So I took him out and put him in a separate setup just to fatten him up and get him looking more healthy. So I'll show you him now. Okay, so here we are. This is where I have the the male high yellow quarantine just for now to get him fattened up like I said. So he's it's basic just like the girls. He has a human hide here. He has water and mealworms and then his hide there with the heat pads underneath that. So as you can see, he's kind of skinny right now, but he's going into shed. So hopefully he gets fattened up for me. I'll take you guys upstairs and show the crusted gecko setups. I almost forgot about these guys. Got to show you guys an update on the bearded dragons. They're doing good. They're eating right now. They're getting big. So this is our setup. They have the this is a um, hundred watt heat bulb, and then I have the UVB over there. So they're just chilling, eating. They have a big water bowl and that basking branch. And then that's where I put their salad in that dish back there. And yeah, this is their rocks. They like to climb up on this um, cage though. So yeah, they're doing good. They're eating right now. Can't wait for these guys to get big. But yeah, so now I'll take you guys upstairs and show you the crested geckos. Okay, so we're upstairs now. Here's the crested geckos. As you can see, I changed his tank, the male's big 18 by 18 by 18. I put this other plant in that I bought because the other one kept falling down. And then I put this long vine that I just got at the Dollar Tree. So I don't know where he is right now. But let's see, he likes to be back here. So he turns. Yeah, he's over there. It's hard to see him, but he's doing good, getting fat. And then next to him, is the female. She's still a baby, but she likes to hide in that core collar. Oh, there she is. That's her. She's quick. But yeah, they're both doing good. Once she gets big enough, I'm going to put her in with him. I still have the fog going. This one's not on right now, but got the divider thing. And yeah. So next I'm going to take you over to another little new addition that I haven't showed you guys yet. Okay, so this is another, I guess it's an addition, it's just a, um, a local snake that 
my grandpa found at his friend's house, so he, we just took it in for a little. My little sister just wants to have a snake for a little bit, so we're going to keep it for like a week, feed it once, and then let it go, but it's a little baby uh, rosy boa. Really cool little snake. They're really calm. Rosy boas are really cool. I like them a lot. But yeah, that's that one. Has a basic setup in here. So yeah, I'm, I'll do a video in about a week of us releasing it out by the mountain by my house. But yeah, so subscribe, stay tuned, message me if you have any other ideas for videos. I've been kind of stumped lately on what to do, but there will definitely be more coming since I just uh, I graduated high school Wednesday, so I'll have a lot more free time on my hands, so I'll do some more videos. So thanks for watching, guys.